Okay, so while I was waiting for my colors that I just added to dry, I used my time to try and figure out what color I want to paint my house. And it's hard because I like the white, but I think I'm going to go with kind of a red with some brown added to it. And hopefully I won't hate it, but if I do, it's not the end of the world um, because I can always make another one, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and paint in the color of my house now. It is 100% your choice if you are following along with you, uh, this tutorial and you used the same um, drawing that I'm doing. You can follow along and do a red house. You could change it, you could make it yellow, you could make it blue. Um, although I would say that blue would not be my top choice and I wouldn't overly encourage that choice since your background has a blue sky and it may blend in a little bit. Um, but think about how you want to draw attention to your middle ground and think about what color you want to use. If you leave this white, um, I would encourage you to definitely come back in and add some shading to the house uh, because leaving it just white, I think it's going to look unfinished. So make sure that if you leave it white, that you're coming in and adding some shading into the house. And that itself is going to be a little bit challenging. Um, so you can kind of follow along and watch what I do when I layer on values and then think about how that would apply to a painting where you've left the house just white. So hopefully I'll like the red in the end, but we'll see. Sometimes we do things in art and we realize, oh, that wasn't a good choice. Hopefully that's not gonna be the case this time around. I did think about it for a while and this is where I finally landed was on the red. I did add a little bit of brown to my red, not much. Um, but I wanted to bring it down a notch in brightness because just using the red straight from the Crayola paints was a little too bright for my liking. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and let that first layer of paint dry. Um, so just trying to decide about my chimney as to whether I want to paint it red or whether I want to do it brown. Uh, so for now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead in and um, finish up these bushes by adding in some blue green. Um, I've already got some started in my paint palette from yesterday. So I'm going to start there um, with that. Let me mix up a little bit more. So anywhere you're going to have the um, blue-green hit the red, be very careful that they don't bleed and run together. And you want to make sure those are dry. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and let those dry um, and then come in and do any um, painting. 
is almost dry. Again, please be more patient than me. We saw what happens earlier when we go around um, touching everything with our fingers that aren't clean. I'm gonna go ahead and paint this door in though because I think the red around it is dry. And I have a feeling um, that I may go back in and I haven't quite decided whether I wanted this door brown or black. So we'll see what I end up with. Now if you want to stick around and finish the whole painting with me, you might as well because you made it this far. Um, on the other hand, if you feel like, you know what, I've, I've got this Mrs. Hunt, I've watched so much, I've got a pretty good idea of what I need to do, um, then by all means, sign off, and do what you need to do. Okay, I think it's pretty much done. Um, you know, you never know with me. I may go back and make adjustments at some point, but let's take a look um, at what we've got happening here. Okay, so we have successfully created our foreground, middle ground, and background. And I can't wait to see what you've come up with. 